assume the crash position. Hold on tight. Take a deep breath for a new kind of cartoon show. Take you inside and turn the pages. Here are your hosts, Henry and June. Hi, I'm June. And I'm Henry. And welcome to Kablam! Hey! What exactly is Kablam? Quite simply, it's soon to be your favorite show in the world. That's because we'll do whatever it takes to be your favorite. And we're taking your requests. Here's one. It says, Henry, put your hand over your face. Okay, I'll do it. Ow! I sent that request in myself. Funny. Remember, we want to be your favorite. This one says, go away. We want cartoons. Well, um, we're cartoons. Actually, it says other cartoons. Oh. Okay, then that's what you'll get. Here's another cartoon that's nothing like us at all. It's Sniz and Fondue. So you see, I'm looking for a mean machine. I need eight pistons, reverse throttles minimum, and a self-cleaning gear shaft. Uh, what exactly are you talking about? I'm talking about raw speed, baby! You probably haven't heard of me yet, but soon the whole world will be going ape over stunt bike sniz! You've never actually ridden a motorcycle, have you, sir? Whoa! Snap me down! Whoa! I do believe I found my road mama! And her name is Gretchen! Hey, sniz is going to do a death Defying act. Huh? What do you mean, death defying? Vroom, vroom. Right outside is beautiful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sniz got a motorcycle? Oh, Mama, yes. How can you be excited? We can't advocate three tons of vibrating metal death. Ooh, three tons of vibrating metal death. Thanks, Fondue. I needed a title for my documentary. <laughs> Sniz isn't gonna actually jump that, is he? Not Sniz! Don't fight Sniz! Keep your eyes where the action is! This will earn your respect, Father! Fine. Great. Woo woo. Now let's end the stupidity before he tries something truly dangerous. Keep your eyes where the action is! Unacceptable! Show up! What's next? Maybe you want to jump our house? Oh, Fondue! You're the meaning in my life! You're the inspiration! Hey, everybody! 
I'm gonna jump the house! Oh, no, you're not! Don't you know that you can really hurt yourself with that thing? Does that mean you're not gonna watch me jump the house? The second Sniz becomes famous, he's gotta buy us all new beds. And new doors. He used them all for this idiotic ramp. Oh, yes. Sniz is going to be psyched! Good afternoon, bloodthirsty thrill-seekers! I, Stunt Bike Sniz, am about to perform my greatest jump ever! And I will emerge unscathed, unhurt, and unbloody! For I'm the one, the only, Stunt Bike Sniz! This is totally getting right. I just want to say, you should all be ashamed of yourselves! Boo! Yes. You people don't care if Sniz mutilates himself. This is sheer exploitation. Stunt bike Sniz, shites and caps, eh? Yeah? Shites and caps. You got that in a medium? This is it. Stunt bike Sniz has mounted his moto. Any final words to your shallow and uncaring fans? Yes! I rule! is not for everyone. It's, uh, it's got to be in your blood, in your soul. I do it for the raw adrenaline, because in this life, baby, it's only you who makes each moment awesome. You'll never believe this. Oh, fondue! I'm famous! Oh, me. Other side, other side. Howdy, Kablamoids. Okay, June, they're back. Let's get ready to rumble. If you think Sniz laughs at danger, get a load of June. She's going to break the speed of chair. The final frontier. Chair. Remember, motorheads, don't try this at home. June is a professional comic book character. Excuse me while I kiss the sky. On your mark. Get set. Friends is just the tip of the stunt group. Brace yourself for action. Here comes Action League now. Dateline, Dirty Kitchen Industrial Park, where we find Thunder Girl on a routine patrol. Thunder Girl, flying like thunder, while others must wonder what it's like to be me. Meanwhile, his dishonor, the mayor, lurks nearby. Let's see how well you fly after this, Dunder Girl. Ooh, gross. Wait, can't maintain altitude. Ah. Now the path is clear for my evil plan. <laughs> Starring the flesh, he's super strong and super naked. Thunder Girl, she flies like thunder. Stinky Diver, a former Navy commando with an attitude as bad as his odor. And Meltman, with the power to melt. Today's episode, No Fly Zone. We find our heroes in the midst of a delicate rescue operation. Ow! Thunder Girl, report! I was squirted with an evil liquid. 
and crashed. She was probably singing that stupid song again. Evil Liquid? What fiend would do such a thing? Maybe the guy who threw that brick! Look! It's some kind of message. Dear Action Morons, I've got the kids, and unless you deliver $2.3 trillion to my Eagle Landing estate, by 3 o'clock, they'll suffer a nasty end. Diabolically yours, the mayor. Blast it! Don't look at me. I didn't vote for him. Uh, guys, I can't feel my feet. Quit thinking of yourself, Meltman. Those kids are in danger. I'm all over it, Chief. Action League, away! I... I've lost my power to fly! Blast it! The mayor knows that without Thundergirl, we've got as much chance as a dog sled at a demolition derby! Meanwhile, high above in his evil airy, the mayor delights in the havoc he's hatched. <laughs> With Thundergirl grounded, no one can touch me up here! Ow! Oh, you shouldn't have done that! As time ticks away, the League's only hope lies in getting Thunder Girl airborne. Whee! It's working! What the? Hey, <laughs> give me my arm back! Guys, where's the down button? Right here, Thunder Girl! Stinky, no! Oh, what's the use? I can't fly. I'm an action failure. Ow! Okay, no more Mr. Nice Mayor. No! Will our terrified tykes be reduced to free pubescent stubble? Or will Thunder Girl rise to the occasion? Stay tuned for the action-laddered conclusion of Action League Now. Hey, Kablamoids! Keep your Heiner in the recliner. Still to come, Life with Loopy, Prometheus and Bob, and more Action League Now, right here on Kablam! Action League now. Thunder Girl fall. Kids danger. Time running out. The Action League takes a million to one shot. I don't know about this, you guys. Chin up, mate. Thunder Girl flying like thunder. No, you monsters. Cut it out! <laughs> Looks like we're just in time! Ah. <laughs> to save the mayor! <laughs> hey, hey, where's Thunder Girl? Up here, you guys! She got her power back! Bully for her! Saw her, Thunder Girl! Saw her! Thunder Girl! End. Okay. Thunder Girl flies. The mighty flesh is large and in charge. But what's the deal with Meltman? Excuse me? He can withstand temperatures in excess of 10,000 degrees, applied directly to his face. Yeah. But he's such a dink. That's his fatal flaw. All superheroes have one. Why can't there be a superhero who's invincible and smashes everything whenever she wants? She'd be the greatest superhero ever and reign supreme over the Milky Way. Her name would be... Barbara. Barbara Schechter. Ha! Ah, that's the stupidest name I ever heard. <laughs> Again, Barbara Schechter could work. I like it. It's Kablamorific. Like our next cartoon, Prometheus and Bob, Miss Schechter. 
What you are about to see is top secret. It is a videotape recorded 900,000 years ago by an alien using a remote-controlled camera. It shows his attempts to educate a caveman. They have been codenamed the Prometheus and Bob Tapes. Take number 25, clothing. Says that sitting in front of the washer with a fan on is just like watching Kablam. But I think something's missing. We don't have helmets! Look! I am Jarhead! <laughs> Sheephead! got a hard head. <laughs> Why well, administer first aid? Here's our next cartoon. Life with Loopy. Hey, am I sad? Hi, my name's Larry. Let me introduce the family. This is my little sister, Loopy. This is my mom, and this is my dad. He's what you'd call a laid-back kind of guy. Yup, nothing seems to phase my dad. Well, nothing that is, except... Ah, uh, bills! Bills, bills, bills! 
Now, to Loopy, Dad's bill problems were being caused by one icy-hearted individual. And believe me, when it comes to melting icy hearts, my sister Loopy's a regular blowtorch. Hey there, friendly mailman, there's something I gotta say. You're such a lovely person. Mostly bills today. Grouch bag. And what's my little sugar lump got for me today? Bills? The next day, Loopy got busy. She figured that if the mailman wasn't going to respond to genuine love and kindness, she'd have to appeal to a more primitive emotion. Fear. I get your signature on this, pal. And what's my little zombie got for me today? Bills! At this point, Loopy decided to switch gears. She figured if the problem wasn't gonna go away, we'd go away from the problem. And you know, life went by surprisingly smoothly for the next few days. We got great reception on the TV. Ah, ma chérie, je t'aime. And as for Dad, well, I'd never seen him so relaxed until... Morning, ma'am. Nice weather we're having. Bill! Now, you might think after all this, Loopy would have given up and figured that helping Dad was just too much trouble. But you know what? You'd be wrong. Sorry, Dad. Couldn't do anything about the bills. But I thought you'd feel better if sometimes you got a nice letter in the mail, too. Love, Loopy. Loopy can make a house fly, but can she do this? June, get down here! We've got work to do! Okay, but only if you let me turn the rest of the pages. But! No buts, Henroid. I scored higher than you on the page turning test. No, she didn't. Do we have a deal? Absolutely. Start turning. Go ahead. Bye, Kablamoids! Bye! Hey, you tricked me! <laughs> That's right! I'm gonna cream you like corn, Henry! <laughs> June! No! Put that down! Help! Join us again next time. Same Kablam time, same Kablam network! <laughs>